Talking of the floodgates opening, well, that's definitely the case for Jason Kokrak, our number five pick this week. He got his first victory end of 2020 with the CJ Cup and then followed it up just a few weeks ago. He won Colonial. Colonial, I was gonna say Memorial. I'm, I knew it was a very iconic. See event. that big truck that he won, by the way, the big truck that he won for winning it? Oh no. It was like this monster blue throwback 1950 style pickup truck. Okay, I did see it because I saw a picture of him sitting in the front of it. I would have seen it on like social media and he, uh, yeah, <laughs> you would love that. I certainly would, I would. He's got a lot more horsepower than my 48 green pickup truck. Well, the thing about Kokrak is he had said, you know, after that win, hopefully this is going to be the floodgates opening. So he backed that up with the win at Colonial. Coming off a missed cut at the US Open, we, we tipped him to do pretty well at Tory Pines, but it wasn't to be. However, this guy's numbers, we know how good he is off the tee. He's become a really great putter on the PGA Tour. So number five this week is Kokrak. Yeah, Jason Kokrak um, put on an absolute display when he beat Jordan Spieth down the stretch at Colonial a couple of weeks ago. And I know Jason, uh, he had a big celebration for a, probably a couple, three weeks after he won at Colonial, but he's he lives up in Cleveland. This part of the country is familiar to him, but the longest hitter on the PGA Tour, one of them, he won two tournaments this year already, one in Vegas where he hit an iron off every hole and Colonial, where he could have hit an iron off every hole. And this course is another one where he's learned now that he doesn't have to use every weapon. That's how good he's become a player. And when Jason starts to think about his golf a certain way and he starts to get the ball in play, he puts so good that he just gets on this roll. And I think this is a perfect setup for Coke Crack this week. It's funny because you look at Coke Crack and you can't even compare his performances based on past years because he's a completely different player now he improved so much yeah especially with the putting and his caddy had helped him with a few suggestions he made the putter longer and um, really worked on finding one that was gonna be was gonna work for him and give him the results and he was comfortable over and he's worked all that out and it definitely shows yeah he's making a fortune this year two wins he uh they always, nobody ever talks about the money, but Kokrak reminded me how much money he's won. I think he's up in about four million range now this year or so, three or four million. He's very happy about that because I think he wants to buy something with it. Yeah. But uh, they don't talk about money anymore. We used to think about money. Now we always talk about FedEx points. But I can promise you they're thinking about money. But no, Kokrak, he's got the taste of it, Diane. He knows this is kind of a weak field. He knows how good he can play. And yeah, I think I think this is a perfect setup for him. What does he want to buy with four million? Whatever you want, I think. <laughs> I'm not playing. <laughs> Whatever you need. Whatever you want. He's number ten in the FedEx Cup right now as well. In your case, it would be another fancy drink at a at a uh, fancy tea house. I love how you always comment. If I ever post anything with a drink, it's yeah. it's always the fanciest drink. It's either a swirly margarita or it's a two-tone coffee uh something yeah i like a prop it's very basic of me isn't it <laughs>